Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the DC crossover. We've got some new casting news that was released about a week or so ago, but I haven't got around to making it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So recently, according to that hashtag show, they released some casting breakdowns for the upcoming CW crossover, and it was released like a week ago. Maybe some of you have heard of it. Maybe some of you actually missed it. It wasn't really like too much of a big thing, so I think some of you might have missed it. So that's why I'm breaking it down. So the first character that was revealed that's coming to the crossover, and by the way, both of these are going to be villains of sorts. So the first character is called Lon L, as in Mon L, Kara Zor El, Kal El. So presumably he's Kryptonian or he's a Daxamite. So it says male 40s, potential to play older than their actual age, open ethnicity, a mysterious visitor who is from an Another planet and is both ambitious, inscrutable, and has the power that is teased as nearly infinite. Potential to appear post crossover episodes. Wow, that is amazing. That is a really exciting thing to get excited about in the crossover. Obviously, excluding Superman, Lois Lane, Batwoman, you know, there's so much to get excited for. Me personally, I'm most excited to see Superman interact with everyone else and see who they cast as Lois Lane. And so, this new character is from another planet due to the fact that his name is Lon. L, you would have to presume he is either from Krypton or Daxum, and people were theorizing that it's perhaps jor or someone like that. I think in this case they actually might be making their own character that they're perhaps adapting from a different character because the power that they suggest that is nearly infinite does initially suggest is that they're definitely Kryptonian because obviously Kryptonians are more powerful than Daxamites, but the way that they use the word infinite, I think it's something more, something more or along the lines of rain, you know, more powerful than a normal Kryptonian, and due to the fact that they say the power is nearly infinite, you would have to presume that this character is going to be a pretty big villain in this crossover for at least one or two episodes, but that remains to be seen. We don't really have any other concrete information as to this character, but for now he's called Lonel. he is from another planet, he has nearly infinite powers, and as you know, this is just a casting breakdown, they can change the name from Lonel to perhaps a comic book character's name, like, say, jor or something like that. So anyway, moving on to the next character, and this character is called Dr. Elias Kern. He's a male in his 30s, open ethnicity, a psychiatrist with his own mental health problems. Dr. Kern is a brutal sociopath who appears to be starting to lose his grip on reality. This recurring guest star will be present in all three episodes of the crossover. So this sort of leans me down the lines of like someone like Dr. Hugo Strange or something like that. Someone who works as a psychiatrist, but also is inherently insane, considering that this person is a brutal sociopath who is losing grip on society, and you would have to assume this is more of a grounded character, so I'm guessing this character is based in Gotham. Maybe it's who Batwoman's dealing with at the start of the crossover, and perhaps he goes on to be the big villain, but the other villain seems to be bigger. That is in regards to Lonel. So, those are the character descriptions for the crossover, they're really exciting, I'm really excited to see both of these. One seems to be more on the Supergirl, Superman side of the spectrum, one seems to be more on the Batman, Batwoman side of the spectrum, so I'm very excited to see who actually they cast for these characters and how they turn out. But get ready guys, a new Kryptonian's coming. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like sharp pretty teeth.